Here's the secret battle cry, General Sherman! Yeah, and we wanted to tell everyone watching that there's no way she had anything to do with this terrible fire. Well, Aurora, you've got the keys to the kingdom. Remember all we've told you. Persevere, and you'll get through it. I will, Father. Don't worry. Oh, I'm not worried, child. Now oh, you're sure you packed my speech. Big speech, much pressure. Opening address for the conference, you know. And now, Hysteria presents... The History of Antarctica! Complete and unabridged! The Dark Ages and the Middle Ages spanned history from 400 to 1500 A.D. It was a time when the teachings of ancient Greece and Rome were lost to most of Europe. Goodbye! Oh, for the love of monarchies, where is my sword? Has anyone seen my sword? Ah! Never mind. Ooh, found it. Hello, I'm Bill Strayman, and welcome to Riding Through France in 14th Century. Loud Kingdom brings Princess Aurora to the keys to the kingdom around the world. And I see we are about to see what Loud Kingdom can do for you. Let's watch. Good morrow, ye lords and ladies! Hey, we don't have an exciting show for thee, and here doth be our three most worthy rivals. A Renaissance man is a man who knows a lot about a lot of different subjects. I'm also the man who painted the Mona Lisa. You have the old man in the sea, written by Ernest Hemingway. Well, make up your mind! Do you want it sterilized or sanitized? <laughs> yes, King Hubert is a force of nature. It's a wonder he didn't forget his head. Well, I suppose I should go inside and commence my duty. Better! I've really got to repaint that thing. Maybe just one more time. The Renaissance was a wonderful period of history. It was a time when the people learned how to read. Of course. Now how about the lampshade? Can we give that up too? You know, the one in your quarters? The fancy one with little whales on it? Now I have a small itch, and I know why. Make my dress a beautiful ball gown. <gasps> With a dazzling necklace and matching earrings. In 1429, as the Hundred Years' War raged on, a young peasant girl from the village of Dom Remy reveals her plan to save France. Her name, Joan of Arc. Hi, I'm Joan, Joan of Arc, and I was born in the early 15th century on a farm in France. <laughs> Marvelous job, my dear! Yes! <laughs> in spite of the rumors of cows <laughs> and green pigs! <laughs> Did you know about the green pigs? Not to pig? mention the giant pigs. chickens! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's eat, shall we? Works every time. 